Okay, what I'd like to explain here is uh, how to correctly insert these magnets in the disc. This applies for both the front disc and the back disc. What you can see here is that I've already um, just pressed the magnets on a little bit. I haven't pushed them in completely. It's important because um, once you've inserted the magnets and pushed them all the way down, you won't be able to take them out anymore without damaging the plastic disc in front. In other words, what I'm saying is if you ever had to get a magnet out here, you would most likely need to um, make a hole in the plastic and push it out, which would be bad for water to later enter. So the way that I've successfully gone about this is I take, oh, I can see, also I've got to be careful there's no screws in the way that gets attracted. I take a magnet in my hand and I start at, at one point. Um, for example, in on this disc you see that I've marked some of the magnets red. Uh, I can actually see here that this is the first magnet which I started with. So I mark the first one red. And then I check, when I take the other magnet, this loose magnet in my hand, I can see here it's actually pulling. Then I turn it around in my hand, I see that now it's actually pushing. Okay, so once I've ascertained that, I actually go and mark the side red as well. Now I know red and red pushes against each other. What I then do is, when these magnets haven't yet been inserted, so just imagine these holes from here are all still empty, then I go and I check with another magnet against this one, which pole is which, because I want to now put a magnet in here, which will essentially attract the side. Okay, so the first magnet, where I start here, the first magnet should push, then with the same pole in my hand, the second one should pull, and then the third one should push again. Okay, so the point here is just that every alternate magnet should be uh, the same. In other words, when you run it should be push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, etc. Okay, so it's just every, every following magnet must have a different pull. The way that we can check that nicely is when we now turn the disc around and we take the magnet that we've marked and we just go one by one by one. So there's eight checks that we actually need to do. We've got to see that I can see this one pulls, the next one must then push, then the next one pull, then the next one push again, then the next one pull and push, pull and push, and pull and push. Okay, now because I've been talking, I've been lo losing my way, so I will just before I push these magnets in, now really do a, a nice check, which I'm sure about. So I'll mark the one that I start with. Okay, now I'm sure that every other one is alternate. So only once I've ascertained that, then I go and I push these magnets in properly. They, they're quite tight and that's quite a useful thing. But as you can see, you probably won't get them out um, without damaging the disc. Alright, so that's, I just wanted to make sure that that's well understood.